Welcome to our lecture online. So far we've defined what a hypothesis is, what the null hypothesis is, and the significance of the null hypothesis. Now let's talk about the alternate hypothesis. So we have a definition on the board that says the following. The alternate hypothesis gives a different or alternate explanation about the population, the product, the design, or the capability that indicates success or an acceptable or expected level. So the null hypothesis defines failure or not meeting an expected level. The alternate hypothesis defines how the product or the population meets that expected value, that expected level. Now, by showing that the null hypothesis is wrong, we indirectly show that the alternate hypothesis must therefore be correct. So, here's a simple example. Let's go back to our bolts. And again, the condition is that the average shear strength of the bolts must be greater than 100 pounds. The null hypothesis told us that the average shear strength was less than or equal to 100 pounds, which means it wouldn't meet the condition required. And so, therefore, we create an alternate hypothesis that says that the average shear strength is greater than 100 pounds. So, that means that if this is wrong, this must be correct. So, if we test for the hypothesis and we could show that the null hypothesis is wrong, that means that the alternate hypothesis must therefore be correct and therefore we meet the correct conditions. So, therefore, if the null hypothesis is wrong, the alternate hypothesis is correct and in this case, and the shear strength is therefore greater than 100 pounds. It seems almost like why bother? Isn't that obvious? And of course, it is very obvious, but that's not where the meat of the whole idea is. This is what defines it, but actually calculating it, well, that requires a little bit of statistics. And if we don't understand this concept, then the statistics is not going to make any sense. So what we're trying to do here is very clearly define what these things mean what we mean by hypothesis, what we mean by the null hypothesis, what we mean by the alternate hypothesis, and what it means that if we prove the null hypothesis wrong, how the alternate hypothesis is therefore correct, and therefore the product is good, or the population meets the expected value. That's what this is all about. Now, how to do that? Well, that comes in the future. We have some videos ready for you, but this is how we need to look at these concepts and these definitions so we understand what we're doing in the future. And that is how it's done.